Bones, the protagonist of Doggerai, is a canine of simple yet versatile skills, jump, slide, and a sword, which is his only means of self-defense. You lack a ranged attack but can cut through many incoming projectiles, which evens the odds against your opponents. Against tougher enemies, Bones possesses one latter-day specialty, a QTE combo, which thankfully is very easy to pull off. Stylistically, Doggerai is meant to recall an early Game Boy platformer, though with an adaptive color scheme similar to what one might have seen on certain Enhanced for Super Game Boy carts. From a design perspective, it bears a lot of similarities to Mega Man despite having very different mechanics. This isn't too much of a shock. The handheld Mega Man games were probably some of the best designed titles on the Game Boy, and it's no surprise to see such beloved games referenced here. Overall, Doggerai is a challenging game that will take a few hours to clear, depending on individual skill level and whether one takes the easy route out and plays with infinite lives. Squidlid is a bit of a rarity, and not just because of its style, but because of how dedicated the developers were to authenticity. Squidlet is designed to hew as closely as possible to Game Boy hardware limitations, meaning this game, or something like it, could well have been released on the original system. Squidlet cast the player in the role of Plip, a land squid on a mission to rescue the world from the sorcery of the insect queen Squid Squat. To defend himself, Plip can fire a burst of ink straight down, which also pops him back up into the air, meaning that his double jump doubles as his attack. Squidlet is, above all, a bite-sized bit of nostalgia. It is a very brief game, but anyone who plays it is going to be tempted to speedrun it a few times and try to pick up some of the more difficult achievements. And if you're already familiar with Squidlet, why not give Super Squidlet a try? I haven't gone hands-on with this one yet, but it promises to do for the Game Boy Color what Squidlet did for the Game Boy. GB Rover is certainly going to be very familiar to anyone who's ever played the likes of Dr. Wily's Revenge, but this robot has a few tricks. You can't fire as fast as the Blue Bomber, but your little robot makes up for his firepower deficiencies with enhanced movement. He has a downward shot that doubles as an extra jump, and a quick dash that grants iframes. You can also build up energy towards Hyper Mode, which is your main means of self-healing. The difficulty of GB Rover is a mixed bag. While the bosses are easy relative to those in most Mega Man games, and the platforming isn't too technically hard, you will still have a harder time healing than you might suspect, and the checkpoints are few and far in between. It's not too frustrating, but do be prepared for things to get a little bit tricky at times.